bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Afawax. Relax, will you? Hello, Afawax. Now you remember yesterday that uh, I clearly hadn't got this right, but I now have got it right. Um, and of course, I've only just realised it's a koi carp. Look which had it totally eluded me uh, yesterday. Anyway, right, without further ado, that's going to go on. Um, it's going on up here. So let's just point up. Look at the magnificence this is turning into. It's quite something, isn't it? Right, what's going on here? Voila. Oh, what glory. Look at that. That really comes into its own, actually, doesn't it, when you see it on? That's lovely. Right, OK. Uh, without further ado, we will now do uh, bag 19, which is, I do believe, the hidden room. Let's get at it. <laughs> Right, off we go. Um, we have a minifig, although I don't think it, strictly speaking, is a minifig. No, it's not. It's not a minifig. Um, it is, it is clearly, uh, um, oh, what are they called? A mannequin of some sort. Anyway, there we go. Look, we've got a, a blue mannequin. wonder where he lives. Mm. I'm going to put him up here in, in, in ninja, in ninja zone. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba -bum 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 -bum. I'm putting him in ninja zone. La 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 la. By the way, did we have a did we have a little look at that moving part in situ? Let's have a let's have another go on it, shall we? Hmm. Yes, all right. That's reasonable. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my display. Let, let's just pan down, shall we? Ooh, ah, deliciousness. Deliciousness. Right, we start with the uh, the Google eyes today. Um, and off we go to it. And we have, who's first up? Uh, Sharon Ranzulli. Sharon Ranzulli. Sharon Ranzulli. Sharon Ranzoli, Sharon Ranzoli, Sharon Ranzoli. That's interesting to do that first thing, isn't it? Um, she says, choice, uh, the bus, uh, the, the bus. Hmm, now I think, hang on, hang on, Sharon Ranzoli. I've got to work this out. This requires a little bit of physics. Hold up. Well, I wish they'd shown how to put it on on the other side. They've just... They've they've done this on the on on the wonk here, right? Okay, thank you. I'm now I'm now back in I'm now back in the game. Back in the game. We thought you put some Canada and then we didn't. That you put some Canada and then it turned out you was from Canada. Ooh, William B. Thank you. Gillian B's theme tune is, is getting quite, getting quite jazzy these days, don't you think? 
the jersey. Um, every day I get in the queue. Uh, too much magic bus. To get on the bus, it takes me to you. Uh, too much a magic bus. I'm so nervous, I just sit and smile. Uh, too much a magic bus. Your house is only another mile. Uh, too much a magic bus. I kind of think feel that like that might have been a song, Jimmy and B. I kind of feel like it, it might have little Sue. She's called Little Sue. She's little. She's called Sue. She's Little Sue. Yes, hello, it's me. Let's just get straight down to business, please, today, am I? Yes, all right. Go on, then. Go on, then. Uh, I, I just wanted to reply to little to, to Gillian B, who we thought came from Canada, and then we didn't think she came from Canada, and then it turned out she did come from Canada, am I? Yes, we, we established that on a daily basis, yes. But what do you want to say? Well, I just wanted to say that I've got absolutely no idea what Gillian B is talking about. But I like it. Press the button. I, I think it's about... Well, it's obviously about Sharon Renzulli saying she wants the bus. Uh, and then she's clearly got a song about a bus, which is thrilling. Um, uh, it's a song, Magic Bus. Uh, by the who, eh? Ah, well, there we go. That's that question answered, isn't it? Uh, Jim Byrne says, oh, I so hope we get to hear Gillian B's version of Magic Bus. Uh, what a delightful treat for the universe. <laughs> well, we did get to hear her version of uh, of Magic, but I'm, I'll, I'll do it. I'll tell you what, I'll do it again properly with a drum roll. Hit it, Gillian B. Every day I get in the queue. Do uh, too much a magic bus to get on the bus that takes me to you. Do oh too too much magic bus. I'm so nervous I just sit and smile. Eh? Oh stop it! Too much magic bus. Your house is only another mile. Oh okay, that's enough. That's that's too much magic bus. That's. No, that's too much. You, you've, you've gone too far. Thank you. Uh, I might have to make that a regular feature. Uh, Gillian B. Mangles, uh, famous rock songs. <laughs> I'm, I'm all up for that if you are. Um, yes, I see now. Yes, please. Uh, I, uh, I very, I, I, uh, of course, I'm writing this yesterday because I want you to know that I can't wait for Gillian B's version. But now I've heard Gillian B's version, and I'm pretty happy about it. Thank you. Press the button. Ah, <coughs> uh, here comes my guess for uh, Tweedle Mandy, uh, Tweedle Mandy, Tweedle Fast Puss. Who? They are twins, but who is who? Uh, I guess Tweedle Mandy on the left, and Tweedle Vaspusu on the right. Uh, Brian Duda, Brooks not Brian. Teal is on the build. A a working video game? No way. Yes, I know. I thought I thought you would uh, all be pretty darn tootin' excited about that because it was pretty darn tootin' exciting. Let's face facts. Pretty darn tootin'. Um, Eric, he's got a duck of fast, yo. They both like watching Lego. And they really like musicals. So his name is Eric. Fa, 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 etc. Says, I am really liking that light blue with the gray. Nice color combo. Also digging the gear shift ladder. Uh, whatever that's supposed to be. Yep. Yeah, well, that, that is an amazing koi carp. Look, look at it sideways on. It's absolutely tremendous. It's a little bit shrimpy as well, but it's a koi carp. It's a koi carp. Uh, Karen LC, uh, every day is full of little surprises with this build. The games console is fabulous, fabulous. I mean, it is. It's like properly fa fabulous. Properly, properly fabulous. Mm, hang on. 
Yes, that does go in there. Thank you. And that does go in there. Thank you. Um, ah, uh, Janet Pendlebury. Janet Pendlebury. Uh, Hi, Emma, says Janet. There's nothing better than starting the day with Relax with Bricks, then starting it with RWB and a giggle. I could not help laughing when the game console brick flipped out of your fingers. Almost made me spill my coffee. Used to call the kids butterfingers when it happened to them. I lived in several places in Surrey, uh, firstly in Wallington near Croydon, then Mersham, Merstham near Rygate, then Worcester Park, which is now classed as Greater London, I believe. Although I know nothing about Ninjago, I am loving this build, and the colours, the lavender and the teal are lovely. Janet has spoken. Janet has spoken. Janet has spoken. We've, we've, we've had official, official, official mum. Let's just, should we just make M Janet Pendlebury the official mum of uh, Relax With Bricks? Uh, shall we? Shall we? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, Tweedle, Mandy, Tweedle, Vos, Poo, Sue. They are twins and they love poo. Uh, this is this is what I like to see. Uh, Tweedle, Mandy says, hello, Janet. RWB is just lovely, isn't it? Sue and I end the day with it after we've got our mum settled and it's our little escape from the world. Uh, Tweedle, Vos, Poo, Sue. Hello, Janet. Welcome to RWB. It's a lovely place to be. Absolutely love the fact that the first thing you did was correct Mother Goose about the accent. Keep it up. I was bang to rights. I was bang to rights. Uh, right, off to the Twitter eyes. Rice to do bitty bitty tweedle, rice to do bitty bitty tweedle, rice to do. What's happened here? That's because I've missed out a bit, thank you. Rice to be do do tweedle, rice to do bitty bitty tweedle, rice to do bitty bitty tweedle, rice to do bitty bitty tweedle, rice. Um, who, who's up first on the Twitter rows? Oh, never ending boy, you know. Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair, never ending boy. Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair. He says alert, alert, brown curvy sided two brick instead of black shonk equals a very mild half. Oh no, oh no, I'm almost terrified to, to look. Oh no. Hang on, is this a Where's Knuckles? Hashtag Where's Knuckles, hashtag nice lift shaft said shaft. Uh, hashtag shenanicrabs. Uh, hashtag they're back. Right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, for goodness sake, look straight away. Straight away. Right, let's just have a look. Yeah. Shall we? I mean, it's moving swiftly on. Mm. Oh, look, that's clever. Look, that's clever. That's clever. There's the baby. That's clever, isn't it? Where am I? There is the knuckles, there is she. There's knuckles, there's knuckles, where is knuckles? Oh, I can't see me again, Gary Blair. Am I in the bananas? I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. Am I over here somewhere? Am I in the sweets? Am I in the jar? <laughs> Gary Blair! Ah, I, I can't see myself again. You've done it again. Liking that spider. You've done it again. I'm not under the, the tiles. No. 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 
I mean, unless they're daft about the about that, the better, quite frankly. Now you do, you've got me again. You've got me again, Gary Blair. No. Nope. Can't see myself anywhere. No. Nope. No. Nope. Well, all right. Well done. Got me again, fair and square. Dunno, can't see it. Um now there's five replies to this. Hang on. Uh Bevis Muslim. The Sensei. I got strawberry. The moaning mini the matter of the Lego whisper. It says, ah memories of knuckles. Trying to do that crowbar roof and failing because she didn't actually click them onto the bar they attached to. Oh yes, we all remember that. Uh, that was quite the turn, was it not? Quite the to-do. Uh, and then do you remember when I suddenly realised? Oh, good grief. I mean, I must have been at that for a good 20 minutes. It was quite something to behold. Um, right, that's going there. That is going there. Thank you. Now we will return uh, to normal service. Uh, Ninja T, uh, Rosie Lee says, loving the new little Sue shenanigans, little Sue paparazzi, Jackie Swan, Spider Rosie, Baby and Knuckles. Oh, she, she's got all of them. Tweedle Mandy says, I can't see Knuckles again. Is she hiding in the Nanas that we all thought she all thought she was hiding in the Nanas? Um, Tweedle Vaspu says, nope, can't see Knuckles. Um, Bevis says, it took me a while to find her because she's slightly out of focus. But she's not impossible to find. Sadly, not in the banana na 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 nas. I spent too long to mention looking for her there. Yeah, I bet you did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just checking now. I've got every. I'm not even sure I've got everything here. But it, uh, Twitter might play up today. I've got that feeling. Miss Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Relax. With the bricks. Did you get overexcited about the moving part and put the arcade machine in before you had finished building it? Open bracket. Yes. Yes, you did. Close bracket. Mm. 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 Professor Lago, uh, between the official pearl and bits and pieces, I almost forgot. Where are you, Great Town? It was there in front of you all along. Back in Step Step 708, you were meant to use a 2x4 Great Town to form part of the floor under the arcade machine. I'm guessing you had one spare at the end. That was precisely what I did. Uh, Professor Lego, yes, and then I thought about taking it all apart, and uh, and 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 changing that, but I've decided not to because, to be honest, it doesn't really make a jot of difference. It's just underneath the arcade machine, so I think we've got away with that. Um, Rosie Lee also spotted that, yes, of course, because Rosie Lee is uh, very much, very much a ninja T. Uh, Stan's mum, dear Lord, what happened? There I was, building along quite happily. Then I look up to see that the shrimp thingy has had some sort of unfortunate accident. Mine might not be perfect, but at least it doesn't look, doesn't look like it's been through a mangle. Poor shrimpy thing. This, of course, is Stan's mum's uh, koi carp. Uh, mine was very much uh, not looking at all like a koi carp. Oh, guess who's back? Boo! It's me, John Perry. Hello, John Perry. Hello. I hope. Uh, I hope. I hope you're you're doing very well with your new arrival. No, oh, I just wanted to say, uh, only not a shrimp. It's a quick up. Um. Yes, I want to. I want to interject to her, but please, may I? Yes, you may. Yes. Um, of course, uh, definitely, John. It is very much uh, a koi carp because uh, something that uh, many of you may not know actually is that uh, I'm something of a, a fish export. Is that true? 
I'd sell poisson, poisson, don't I? Mm. You're a fish expert, you say? Yes, I'm a fish expert. I'm, I'm afraid I'm too busy to take questions at the moment. Yeah, I bet you are. Anyway, it's the Great Carp Elmore and uh, John Perry and uh, that's all you need to know. I mean, obviously, if you need to ask me fish-based questions uh, from here on in, I am receptive. I am ready to receive. Uh, but for today, as I previously stated, uh, I'm a little bit too busy to take fish-based questions uh, today. Mm, it's, it's odd, that, isn't it? Because you seem to be talking rather a lot. I'm sorry. I am. Oh, is that the phone? I better go. Goodbye. Press the, press the button. <laughs> Uh, there's giffing then from John Perry. Uh, I'm so tired. Yes, I bet you are. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Um, oh, brilliant. The never ending Boyner has put yesterday's, uh, where's knuckle solutions. Oh, will you look at that? Will you look at that? That was very well done. Gary Blair. Very, very well done. What's clever about that is it looks like I'm, I am part of the sticker. Very clever. Sorry, massive burp. Uh, as I will be winning the Goosey Gandhi giveaway of because it's about time, I will graciously accept the police station with the donut shop. Thank you, please. Uh, you're welcome. Best wishes. I mean, you can't you can't fault him for for trying, can you? You you can't fault him for it. By the way, I've just realised we're going to be making four of these, so I'm going to be a little bit more organised any minute now. Here it comes. Uh, Ninja T. Forget the Tweedle Twins, who is who game. Uh, here's Shrimpy Foo. One is right and one is poo. Boing. It's just... <laughs> Ooh, now let's have a look. Which is Shrimpy Foo and which is poo? <laughs> mm, I think this is Shrimpy Foo and this one's poo. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bevis Musson also getting involved in uh, naming fish here um, and says, uh, it's a cooey carp, isn't it? I mean, it is. If it's the right way up, anyway, you know, it's a semi boing, semi boing. Um, uh, Ninja T, Rosie Lee says, I was guessing, but I wasn't totally sure what it was supposed to be from Emma's version. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bevis mustn't. Well, yes, I thought the same as she was building it. Uh, but that version from the instructions uh, looks much more fishy than the shell fishy to me. It would make sense with the Zen Garden uh, too. Yes, it sort of should be on the Zen Garden, shouldn't it? With Mr. Trick there. Ah, uh, oh, yes, brilliant. Uh, Professor Virgo, as well as the pearl, we do have bricks and pieces. So let's get right in there. Bricks and pieces, bricks and pieces, a bricks and pieces, a bricks a piece as a bricks a pieces, a bricks a pieces, a fa da da da, a fa da da, a da 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 da. Thank you. We start today with Carl's Accessory, the game controller. Yeah, it was good, that. It's good, that, isn't it? It's good. This piece in all its colours is unique to Ninjago. But it, as it was only introduced in 2020, Mother Goose hasn't seen it before. I believe it has an anti-start at each end, as its original use was as a weapon hilt in the style of a game controller. Like that pearl gold one, that's flipping super. What's the background? Season 12 is Prime Empire, where the ninjas manage to get sucked into a computer game. As a result, game controllers are your weapons. The second and last new piece for today is Feet 2x2x2 two times two times two slash 3 number 1. This is its first outing outside of the Super Mario range where they formed the feet and legs for the supporting characters. 
dumpy little fellas, aren't they? Okay, thank you. We see it creatively used to help form the shape of a shrimp or koi carp. Really? I doubt it would have worked as well as in green hashtag food poisoning. It's just, it isn't just Bever saying it's a koi carp, but I don't see it myself. I mean, look at this picture. It's a koi carp. Trust me, it's a, it's a koi carp. It's a koi carp. It's not a shrimp. Anyway, that brings us to the end of Bricks and Purses, where whatever it is looks good. It's, it's a koi carp. But I'm just not saying koi hashtag koi shrimp gate. Uh, that's the end of Bricks and Purses. Sing us out, uh, uh, mother goose. A uh, Bricks and Purses, Bricks and Purses, a uh, Bricks and Purses, a uh, Bricks and uh, Purses, a uh, Bricks and Purses, a uh, Bricks and Purses, a uh, Bricks and Purses, a Fudda da da. A Fudda Ah, uh, fada da da. Well done. It's a koi carp. It's a koi carp. Um, sorry, can we just bring in our fish experts, uh, Little Sue, again? Yes, I'm here, uh, Little Sue, uh, fish professor. Oh, you're a professor now. Yes, I'm a fi I'm a fish professor. Yes, I've been I've been I've been I've been I've been taking a secret evening class during lockdown. Uh, have you? How oh, interesting. Yes, I'm Professor, I'm professor Little Sue now. <laughs> You're professor, professor of fish? Yes, I'm, a, I'm, I'm the professor of, of naming fish, yes. At what university? Um, um, Codford. Codford? Cod, yes, Codford. Codford University. Mm. Where, 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 Codford University. Just, just, just so I'm clear. Yes, Codford University. We stop, stop, stop pretending I'm not a professor of fish, Emma. It's a great up. Thank you, Professor Button. Wow, we. Wow, we. Wow, we. Well, Professor Little Sue. Well, all right. Yep. Yeah, okay. Ninja Tea. Rosie Lee says, uh, "I give you, uh, shrimpy." Koi slap hashtag koi shrimp gate. I mean, oh no, Katie Hall, don't do it, don't do it, Katie Hall, don't don't do it. She's done it. Bring bring, bring bring. Yes, hello, Rex with bricks. Uh, yes, hello, it's Katie Hall. Oh, hello, Katie. Uh, are you phoning to complain? Um, I'm phoning to just say. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> hashtag. Schism. <laughs> we we must have no more schisms. <laughs> we mustn't have them. No. No more schisms. No. No. Bevis Musson. I'm sure the prof will do a poll, but I'll put my vote in for the in one set. The three in one set, I think you, you mean, for the giveaway. The other two are good as well, but the three in one would give every Effawax something to enjoy in a way the others might not. Are you ready for a controversial opinion here? What? <laughs> and bearing in mind this is using Ninjago City and Ninjago Docks as the gold standard of sets. <laughs> I am not loving this set. As much as I want to. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it is still a st stunning set and has some absolutely stunning details. But I feel like it's got some tricksy building techniques for the sake of the techniques, rather than for the benefit of the set, which don't really make for a relaxing build. Well, that, that, to be fair, that could just be me. And is somewhat detrimental to the set is something that you could actively play with. Yes, it's not really a playable, it's, it's, a, it's a look at it set. Um, although at least all the rooms are pinned together, unlike docks. Plus, a lot of the colours are verging on the garish, rather than just colourful of the other two sets. Mm, can I interject here, Bevis? Do you think that might be because you're a little bit colour blind? Are, are you having trouble with the greens and the teals? Just interested to know. It'll be interesting to see how the three sets look together, but the bright reds, custard yellow and lurid green, or the building, not the plants, of the garden, look a bit full-on compared to the more muted tones of uh, 
City and Docks, although City has got a lot of red and blue in it. Now I'm looking at it, and green. Like I say, though, this is criticism compared to the other two sets, so it's not exactly a complaint as a gut reaction. Also, you know, jealousy that I don't have Ninjago City Gardens. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough, Bevis. Fair enough, Bevis. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Um, oh, Stan's mum says, I have to agree, uh, Bevis. If I was doing this as a standalone, having not done the city and docks, I would be blown away. The build is lovely, but I think city is cleverer and more intricate, e.g. Uh, crab oven, correct, and sushi bar, correct. I'm not complaining, just comparing. Yeah, th I, I think that is valid. Um, I think one of the reasons that, that Ninjago City is so exceptional is because of the utterly amazing moving pieces that are in it. I mean, they're just breathtaking, breathtaking. Um, uh, so yes, we can agree on that aspect. So th th this has been rather lacking in the old moving parts department. I will say that. And I think uh, here at Relax With Bricks now, when we do these nice big sets, we, we do expect a, a clever moving part. Do we not? I don't think that's un unacceptable to say it. Uh, we love, we love, we love, love, love a clever moving part. That's what we love here. Uh, Bevis says, uh, yes, exactly that. As a standalone set, it's incredible. As a companion to the other two, there's something not quite as good. I've not had the same look at how amazing this bit is moment yet. Hmm. Well, yeah, I know what you mean. I've had lots of this is lovely moments. Um, I do think that that games console we did yesterday was very clever. That was a really beautiful piece of design. And I think the Koi Carp is a beautiful piece of design, actually. Um, and I love all the, the interiors. The ice cream parlour was divine. And I really liked the, uh, the museum. Yeah, all right. Katie Hall. Uh, it is an incredible set, the only Ninjago one I own, but I don't know the storyline and there's no she knows the value of a frog moment, so it's a good build, but not as much fun as the others. Yes, I agree. What a shame, what a shame that they didn't give us uh, the, uh, the, 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 the stories, the backstories um, of all the minifigs as they did with... Uh, Ninjago City. I mean, that was part of the fun, wasn't it? We absolutely loved that. We loved it. And, of course, it generated lots of conversation points and lots of things to, to, to laugh about and have fun about. Um, which has... Which, we, which, well, you know, we've had fun, but we've had fun because we've made fun, not because it's been handed to us on a plate. Let's put it that way. Uh, Kath Pearson. Uh, now let's remember this. The following two stickers are the other movie posters. Um, step seven seven nine sticker eighteen. This sticker exclaims. Hang on, sticker. Oh look, I finished. I finished that one. I'll put that in there. Put that in my little bin over there. Let's have a look. Sticker. Oh, here we are. So sticker number eighteen is uh, Terror Aquasharks. Uh, this title refers to the villainous Aquasharks faction, which appeared in the Aquazone theme between 1995 and 1998. And then sticker number 47, oh, very good, yes. Uh, this promotes Adventure Island, which is apparently coming soon, taking inspiration from adventurers. The male character definitely resembles Johnny Thunder and the Jungle Explorer, from series 19 of the collectible uh, minifigs. Yes, he does. Where's his chameleon? Hmm, he's got a monkey instead. Uh, so that's good. Thank you for that, Kath Pearson. Emma. Yes. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hello, Professor Little Suit. Yes, correct. That is my correct name. I am Professor Little Sue. Yes. Hmm. Did you fancy naming some fish for me? No, I'm very busy. Mm. All right. Well, all right then. Yep. Anyway, what else can I do for you? Uh, Emma, maybe a fairy named Dawn 
could wave her pink wand and grant you the wish of holding a singing concert because I'm sure the Afrox would enjoy it a very, very, very much. Really? You want me to do a singing concert? <laughs> really? Really, Professor Little Sue? Really? I mean, I, I think it would be excellent fun, actually, am I? Yes, so you can all laugh at So you can all <laughs> laugh at me. No. Yes, press the button. Read. Uh, his name is Rio MD, really likes Lego, and he really likes other things that rhyme with Lego. This, I'm actually liking the sounds of the Ethelvex Got Talent. Mm. Mm. I mean, it would be a hell of a thing. A hell of a thing. Um and probably something that nobody would ever forget and not necessarily for a good reason. Why does this look like it? Oh, they've all got that gap. Are they supposed to all have that gap? Oh, no. Oh, no. Missed out a thing. Missed out a thing. <laughs> I've missed out a thing here. Don't, don't even speak to me for a minute. Don't even speak to me. I have missed out a thing here. I'm going to have to do this for each and every flipping one of them. Oh, caramba. Caramba. Caramba, gang. Caramba. Well, at least I noticed. At least I noticed. And it's coming off rather nicely. Anyway, right. Um, Bevis Musson. Rewatching the Notorious episode 33, just because, what again, didn't you just watch it the other day? And rediscovering that it's the first mention of Graham Triggs uh, being the VAR. And it's actually uh, Sue Perkins who first calls him that, not Knuckles. Well, this is a revelation. Um, it, he was only the referee before then. Oh, well, there we are then. There we are. It's official. It was... He, he was named the VAR by, by that there, the Sue Perkins. Uh, so let, let, let history stand. Let the records show um, that it was down to Perks. Uh, Eric Oswald, boy, the birds outside the Lego shed are going crazy today during the quiet bits of the build. They, they often are. I tell you for why. Uh, because um, it's the, the, the bird feeders are just on the other side of the of the big door at the end of the Lego shed. So that'll be why they're, they're twittering away in the quiet bits. Uh, Stan's mum. Uh, Mother Goose, I would like to make an official request. Oh, we haven't had one of these for a while. Here we go then. Here we go then. And also... Official request. Let's get out the official uh, request pen. Yes, yes. Uh, let's get ourselves to the official uh, request. Well, I've done that one on three separate random days between now and end of Feb. You'll read the Twitter eyes before. The, I mean, it's... Oh, no, look. Mother Goose to eat an actual poisson croissant on live and bricking. Oh, no. Oh, no. I wish I hadn't reread that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, all right, someone's going to have to remind me that I have to eat a poisson croissant on live and bricking. Oh, my God. OK. Um, right, so uh, this is going to be official request number 56 from Stan's mum. Uh, could you please give the screen on your phone a quick clean? Screen on your phone a quick... Which one? This one. This one. This one. Sure, it's dirty. I don't think it is. I don't. I don't think it's dirty. Where is it? Is it just a bit of dust? It might have just been the light. Anyway, clean phone. Okay. Yeah, it's in. It's in. I'm very happy. Very happy to do that. Very happy to do that. I wonder if it was just the light on it. I can't see it. I'm just giving it a rub down now. Hang on. I'm giving it a rub. 
Where is it then? Um, voila. There. Um, Rhea Ribbon says, uh, I thought it was just me. I know it's just the above lighting showing up every fingerprint, but I do sit there like, Drah! with Mother Goosey looking at the, the Gary Blair picture every day. Oh no. What? I'm just trying to look now. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Uh, uh, Professor Lego, time for today's official Professor Lego poll. What do we wish for the next Goose giveaway? Uh, just before the poll, let's remind ourselves of the choices. One, create a 3 one fairground carousel. Two, hidden side paranormal intercept bus 3000. Three, Iron Man Hulkbuster versus I Am Agents. And answer the poll. And in third place with 9% of the vote is Iron Man Hulkbuster. In second place uh, with 39% of the vote is the Fairground Carousel. But in first place with 52... Excuse me, I'm burping. In first place with 52% of the vote... It's the Paranormal Intercept Bus. There it is then. That will be uh, the Goose Giveaway. Uh, for those of you who are hoping for the, the Fairground Carousel, I suspect that will come back into play um, if the, uh, the bonsai tree uh, cannot be uh, purchased in time for the for, for the March one. Okay, so that's well that's good. We know we know what we know what you can win now. So that's super. Uh Emma. Yes. Please please use my proper title. So yes, Professor Little Sue, yes? Yes, correct. No, actually it's Professor of Fish Little Sue. Oh give me a second. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yes. Professor of Fish, Little Sue. Yes. Yes. Correct. I just wanted to say, Emma, that I am not furious. I'm just disappointed about Dan also Brooks do that Brooks Rider and random mini thing being left on the kitchen table. I mean, I mean honestly, I'm d p honest, don't take this up with me, Professor of Fish, uh, Little Sue. Uh, this is very much uh, down to Georgie Gibbon, who I absolutely 100% gave that to. And then I found it on the blinking table because she'd forgotten to blinking do it. Anyway, it did go yesterday. So it may well be that, that Dan also, Brooke, uh, will have received his uh, birthday doodah, -do Brooke's at Um And minifig today. We can only hope. We can only hope. Uh, Katie Hall. Oh, my lord, Emma, I'm of a mind to call Peter and complain about that poor creature's treatment. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but how can I when I can't tell if it's a shrimp, koi carp or this guy? Oh, I love that film. Um, Stan's mum loved that film. The second one is a shocker, though. Uh, well, well uh, all right, there is now an extended uh, discussion about whether or not someone likes Finding Nemo. And the second one... Um, yeah, that's yeah, quite a long chat, that bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, little Sue. Sorry. Excuse me, Emma. I, I, do I really have to tell you this again? Sorry. Yeah. My favourite room is... Please, will you give my map up before I continue? Professor of Fish, Little Sue. Yes, crack, carry on. My favourite room so far, actually... Um, the, nin the Ninja Zoom. Uh, highlights for me included the telescope, which is brilliant. Yes. The blue bubble hat, which was really tremendous. Yes. The arcade machine, which was, I think everyone will agree, our best moving part thus far. Yes. And the, the lovely 
teal color am i this is the, this is my findings oh that's interesting so so um for a professor of fish um your favorite thing wasn't the actual fish well it didn't look like a fish did it there's a boing button rude thank you flippy neck uh, Ruth, Ruth Hayes says, love the arcade machine. Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli says, a young mother goose a built an erector sets. I said erector. Well, if you please, if you please. Um, and that does conclude uh, the business of club. The business of club has been concluded. I'm really worried that these are supposed to have these in. Oh no, please don't have made, please, I'm actually begging you. I don't think that happened. No, it didn't. Right, phewee, we got away with that. Right, uh, let us now carry on with this delightful build. I'm making two of these, isn't it? Sorry, four of them. Four of them and they're going like that. Well, that's lovely. Not much more to go today. How are we doing for time? Oh dear. We filled that well. I was a bit worried about today's build. Because I thought, hmm, that's not going to take long. We've made the most of it though, haven't we? It is a lovely colour, this. Really like it. I must remember then to rub rub my uh, my screen down before we do um, Where's Knuckles. I have no idea where I was today. Absolutely none. weird something weird has happened something weird's happened I'm going to show you in a minute I think I think we've got another this might be an adjudication please mr. mr. Graham Triggs um, Oh, hang on. No, it's not. It's not. Sorry. I th sorry. Ignore me. I've just done it wrong. I've just done it wrong. I thought I thought the book had left out had had left out the um these these do these doorways, but they haven't. It's just me getting it wrong. It's just me getting it wrong. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my very minor mistake it's now over and has concluded thank you for coming thank you for coming there look that's better now isn't it now it doesn't look like the book has got it wrong we're going over so this is the hidden room I mean, it's not that hidden, is it? Let's face facts. Um, in fact, it's not remotely hidden. It's, it's not hidden at all. So that's interesting. And also, there's nothing in it, uh, which I'm also taking issue with. I mean, what that? what is that supposed to be? There's nothing actually in that room. Uh, but there it is. Yep. Where 
mad about this. I'm worried about it. I don't care who knows it. I'm worried about it. Oh no. Oh! I forgot to do this one! Oh, for jinging jingwangs! For absolute jinging jingwangs! Crumbs alive! Oh. back now. Thank you. Thank you. Nicely done. Nicely done. Right here. We, oh, okay. Now we've got stickers. Lovely. Here come the stickers. So sticker 18. Sticker. Number 18. Sticker. Number 18. It's the shark. No. Oh, it's it's not it's not good when it's the big ones and you've got to do that to, to it. A little bit more over, thanks. That's it. Yeah. That's interesting. So that's going. Oh, it's going there. Oh, I see. And sticker number 47, sticker, number 47, sticker, number 47, that's the end of that sticker. So look, it's like, okay, and it strikes me as odd that they've, they've, they've chosen to, this is in the hidden room, there's just two posters. I mean, that's not a hidden room, that's a, that's a, a poster cupboard, isn't it? Isn't it? Now then. I think it's going like that. No, it's going like No, it's going around. That's the wrong way around. <coughs> Crumbs alive. It's like that. And then that's okay. I've got it. I've got it. And then we end on a piece we never had before. Look at that. We've never had that, have we? Nope. And what a piece it is. Oh, well, we're going on. Crumbs. Right. Uh, and that concludes uh, bag 19, the hidden room. Although I will argue that that is just a poster cupboard because there's, and also it's not hidden. Um, we may have to have lawyers in. Uh, right, we're going on. Uh, I will lift this up once we've, once we've actually, I'll, I'll lift up like that so you can see it in all its glory. But for now, I'll do this. Now, I 
that's going around that way. And we're on. Okay, so there we go. Voila. Lovely. All right, super. So uh, that was 19. Come back tomorrow and we will tackle 20, which I do believe is the, the ninja control room. Ninja control room. All right, ninja control room tomorrow. Um, see you then, Afflewax. Uh, Afflewax forever. Bye bye.